we spend most of our time in buildings. And these buildings have a huge impact on what we do and how we feel. It takes a huge amount of energy to keep our buildings running properly. Take our homes, for example. We want our indoor climate to be just how we like it. But the systems that control temperature, heat up our water and maintain air quality all require a lot of energy and a lot of money to run day after day. We can be a lot smarter in the way we use them and cut energy waste while saving money. The technologies that manage heating, cooling and ventilation are like a building central nervous system, controlling everything that's happening inside it, including how much energy is being used. By optimising these systems, we can make our buildings more energy efficient, less expensive to run, more digitally enabled and more pleasant to be in. From comfy, efficient homes, to smart, interconnected office buildings, to supermarkets acting as power stations, there are already many examples that prove the benefits of these technologies. We can engineer the well-being of millions of people and save them hundreds of euros a year on their energy bills. For the EU, this can cut energy costs by billions, contribute up to 14% to energy efficiency targets and take 82 million cars worth of CO2 out of the atmosphere. All this with low-cost, low-risk solutions that can be easily retrofitted to existing buildings, allowing us to redistribute money to other areas. We can do all of this today, with clear guidance, consistent standards and commitment to change. We can get the basics right in our buildings and put ourselves on the fast track to a more efficient, better connected, smarter way of living. Dan Foss, Engineering Tomorrow.